Okay, hey everyone, it's Kirsten. Um, whoa, here. Well, I'm just um, getting ready to go pick up my friend Anna, who's in Nashville, but I'm meeting her and her grandparents like halfway, and then I'm picking her up and taking her back to Memphis. But um, I just, well, I'm wearing my new shirt that I showed you guys with just some jean shorts. And, um, Shirts from TJ Matt, shorts are from Delia's. Then I have this headband in, which I think is from like Walgreens or Target. And um, my Tiffany heart necklace with my, which I got for like my 13th birthday, but I love it. With my um, opal ring, Tiffany bracelet, and my class ring. Anyways, um, so I was just gonna show you guys my makeup routine for the day because I really liked it. Um, I haven't put on my lipstick yet though. But I'll get to that. Okay, this is what I started off with. Aveeno Clear Complexion. It's like these um, pads like that. And they're already moist, already wet. You just, it's like washing your face with soap. It's just this pad that kind of exfoliates. And it's just really good cleanser. It makes my skin nice and smooth. But, um, so my friend Madison uses these. And I really like them. So I bought them. They're like $8 at Walgreens. So I really like those. But then I use this. Hang on. This um, Nature's Cure stuff that I got at Walgreens, which makes the acne go away, but it also really, really dries out my skin. And I have this kind of skin where it's not particularly oily, except for in certain places. And it's not particularly dry, except for in certain places. So this really, really helps get rid of the acne but it really dries out my skin. So then I applied this Olay, which I've had like forever. Got it at Costco, like three of them because I love it so much. So I um, used this and applied it with a little sponge, which I mean you don't need, but I just like to do it to make sure I get it evenly everywhere. And it's just easier because you don't get it all over your hands. I used my other Olay, Olay Definity, um, and applied it with the same sponge on the other side, and this is like a moisturizer too, so it's kind of like doubling the moisturizer, and it also gives some coverage, like a light sheer coverage, and so then um, I like to go back over the spots that need a little bit extra coverage with um, this MAC brush 188. Mine's really kind of dirty, but, um, you know, you just squirt some out on it like that, and then I like to rub it off back up on the top so you don't get too much, and then just brush it on, and, you know, you can brush it as much as you want to to get the right amount of coverage, and then I go over with, um, my Glow Minerals. My mom got this. I have no idea where to get it, but I guess you could look it up. And I use the Honey Medium shade. But um, I've been using this pad, but then today I got this one out of one of my old like CoverGirl foundation thing or powders. And I kind of like this one better because it's fluffier and so it gets like more coverage and like it's not as streaky as this one because this one's so thin. Mac blush which well I've had this for a while and the tag came off so I can't tell you what color it is it looks like that and I'm gonna use this brush which is from like Avon or something I don't know and just you know put it right in the balls of my cheeks take back out my glow minerals and this is a trick I actually learned from Lorraine you can find her on Facebook as current custom the current custom is her name I believe but um actually take your powder ugh, just got under my nail take your powder like rub some on your finger and then just rub it all over your lid and then I mean you can use a brush but finger works fine and then I take my Arbon International Bronzer um, and just do the same thing on my finger and then apply it right in the crease much as I want 
and then um, something I always like to do is take like a random shade in like my outfit and kind of put it into my eye makeup. So I took my Urban Decay palette and used Protest because there's kind of like a little bit of green in this shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a little bit. And so I take this brush, the liner brush, and it's kind of bent because I always stick the tap back on it, but then I just take this and apply a lot, and then just right into the crease line, and it kind of ends up being like a little bit right there, and so then I just rub that into the bottom a little bit. Not a lot, just, you know, a little bit to add a little color. You probably can't see it very well on this camera, but it's there. And then I use um, my Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara and just add it in the zigzag, you know, curl my lashes. I like to do that after I have the mascara and even though some people say it kind of like breaks off the tips of your mascara, I like to do it after because it's harder to apply the mascara for me when my eyelashes are already curled. So anyways, and then for my hair, I have naturally curly hair. To make it less frizzy, I use Garnier Fertis Curl Shaping Spray. Um, anyways, so that's pretty much it other than my Rimmel London Brush 202, I think, yeah. Like Love the color. It smells good. It looks good. It feels good. Makes my lips really smooth. And um, my perfume. Favorite with the Chanel. It's running run out. I've had this for a while. And then I just spray it. Just spray it right on my wrist. Both together. Right there. Right there. Right there. And I'm done. Hope you enjoyed that.